Hello and welcome to my SI664 uh, online final, our final exam with the auto grader. So I'm going to walk you through what it takes. Here is the specification and it tells you uh, all the things that you're supposed to do. It's uh, in this particular case it's a music database and we have to create the file and set up your pdo.php. Um, and so I've got this finished and I've got it sitting here um, on my local host 8088. I'm running MAMP on the Macintosh and so that's where it's at. And what I want to show you is how you turn this into the auto grader. Um, and so we're going to use a piece of software called Ngrok. Ngrok is a tool that allows you to sort of take something running on your local computer and put it out on the real internet so that the auto grader can go through ngrok.com and tunnel into your computer and do a request response cycle into your computer. Okay, and so it's super simple. You download this. I'm going to download it right here, and it's downloading, and um, so I go into my downloads file folder, and um, on a Mac, on, a, on, a, on a Windows, you can download this, and then you have to kind of control click or expand all or whatever, but in Macintosh, you just double click on it, and expands the zip, and you have the ngrok. In the Windows, you're going to get a folder that you're going to have to go into, and so to run ngrok, we're going to run a terminal program. And this ngrok does not have to be, so here's my final exam code, is in my htdocs. But for ngrok, it doesn't have to be there. You can run the ngrok anywhere. So I'm going to go into my, my downloads folder. And then I've got this file ngrok. And so I say dot slash ngrok. You don't need the dot slash for Windows. It'll just be ngrok.exe. ngrok HTTP. And then you need the port that, that your, your uh, web server is running on, 8888. And this is actually a cute little, uh, a cute little screen in that you can watch what's going on, kind of watch, it's almost like developer mode. Uh, Ngrok now has created a temporary domain name for you. And if you go here, this is the domain name that is effectively the server running on your computer. So here I have localhost 8088, final exam, and I can go to that. And then I can say final exam. You do not have to have the port because it's already connected to a particular port, um, but you do have to have the path. And so this now is, in effect, the same as this, um, except that this is a URL that can be uh, looked at anywhere on the planet. So the first thing to do is to get ngrok running, and you can see that <coughs> it's doing HTTP requests, and if you look at the ngrok documentation, uh, there's some even more fun things you can do as you if you want to ins in inspect the packets are going back. Ngrok is a tremendous tool for developers. Okay, and so so here you better check check this. So if if this is not working, then what I'm about to do in the autograder is not going to work either. So the first thing you got to do is get Ngrok going. When you hit blow this up, you hit Control C, then it will not it'll cease to work. For now, it's forwarding all these requests back and forth through Ngrok.io. <clears throat> And so now you have this URL, and now you're going to go to the autograder for SI664. So go to the final exam autograder, and this prompts you for a URL. And you have to this URL <coughs> this URL cannot be your localhost URL, it has to be the NGROC URL. And then it's going to actually make a bunch of request response cycles to that. So I'll hit evaluate. And it's talking, and you can see that it's chatting quite a bit, and it's hitting the index and moving to the login and doing all these things. Um, this, of course, is my sample implementation. You will see failures in red, and you can always take a look at the page it's looking at. It says, oh, here's a page, and I'm looking for a form that's got a login submit bu button. Okay, And so it's like you look in here and you say, oh, where is that login submit button? It's right there. That's what it's looking for. That's why it works. And so it shows you every page that it does is as it passes. And this will blow up. It does things like checking to see if there's a post after a redirect, a get after a redirect, and it will give you red error messages. And the thing to do is it just runs and then find the red error message, and eventually you will see that the whole thing worked. And so that's pretty much it. Um, because my test does not have Charles Severance in the title tag, um, it, you know, because it, it, it insists that uh, view page source, it insists that the uh, title have, uh, that should be Charles Severance, because that is what C-Tools thinks I am. And so this was 
I didn't get the grade sent. These pages do not have proper titles, so this grade is not official. And so there you go. You, that, that's it. You'll be doing this a bunch of times. Um, and, and so then I'll be right here. I'm going to hit Control-C over here. You don't want to leave this up. You just hit Control-C or on Windows, Control-Z. And now NGROC is gone. And now if I actually try to use this URL again, that's not going to fail. Okay. I mean, that's not going to work and it's going to fail. So I hope that uh, this helps get you started on this. Uh, and Grok is really easy to use once you grok it, once you get it. Okay. Cheers.